Welcome to another short tutorial in which I want to show you how you can add a WhatsApp button or icon to the header of your website so that whenever someone clicks on it, they can start a chat with you. We will also take a look at how you can set up this icon so that when someone opens the chat, they also have a pre-filled message prepared for them to send to you. To get started, we're going to have to open the Drive Architect editor and you can of course open a page or post or a Drive Team Builder template. This depends on where you want to place your icon. I am going to open one of my pages using Drive Architect. And because I do want to add the WhatsApp icon right here below my other social icons, so inside the header of my website, I'm going to access Drive Team Builder to be able to edit the header and to globally add the button to my site. So as you can see, I now have access to the header of this template. What I'm going to do is click on the plus sign to open the list of elements and simply look for the icon element. When I find it, I'm going to grab it and drag and drop it onto my editor where I want to place the icon. And this will open this pop-up with all of the available icons. And you can use this search bar to start typing WhatsApp and you will see a few icons here. You can simply choose the one that best fits your site. Click on it to choose it and then click on select. So as you can see, this icon doesn't match the rest of my icons. So I'm going to quickly use the left sidebar options to have the icon match the other ones as well. We are going to use WhatsApp click to chat feature, meaning that we're going to have to link this icon to a specific URL that we're going to construct. And that will be the URL that will allow users to open a chat with you and even to have a pre-filled message in their message box. But first of all, I want to show you that if you want, you can make this icon available on mobile only. And since WhatsApp is mainly used on mobile, this can make sense. So if you want, you can hide this icon from your desktop and tablet views and only leave it visible on mobile. And to do that, you can select the icon and in the left sidebar, you'll have the responsive section. Now click on this section to expand it. And this is the option that will allow you to hide or show the element on different devices. So by default, all of the devices are selected, but you can simply deselect the desktop and the tablet views. And as you can see, the icon will only be available on mobile now. And now what you can do is go to the mobile view of this page from here. And just like in my case, you might need to make some adjustments to the element. After you adjust the icon in mobile view, we can go ahead and link it to the URL I just mentioned. And for that, I'm going to go back to the main options of this element and enable the add link to icon option. And as you can see, we'll have a target URL field here. And this is where you will have to insert the custom URL. In the written version of this video, you will be able to find the structure of the URL that needs to be inserted here, which will look like this. And you will have to replace this part with the phone number that you want your users to be able to chat to. As you've added the number, all there's left to do is save everything using this button and you're all done. And now whenever someone taps on the WhatsApp icon from your site, WhatsApp will open on their phone and they will be able to start a chat with you right away. You can also do this with a predefined message. And the only thing that changes here is going to be the URL. More specifically, we're going to add another part at the end of this one. And again, you will be able to find the structure of that URL in the written version of this tutorial. And the structure will be this one. You will simply have to add this part at the end of the previous URL. And then, of course, this is just an example. You will be able to change these words with the message that you desire. But remember that you will have to keep them separated with this structure. And once you've customized your message, you can again click on save. And as a result, if someone taps on the WhatsApp icon from your phone, they will also have a pre-filled message in their message box. This was how you can add and customize the WhatsApp icon. Hopefully this tutorial was useful to you and make sure to check out the rest of the articles and tutorials from our knowledge base as well as our YouTube channel.